So yeah. you and I are standing on the sideline. Yeah, that was that was dope, man. Like, um, I'm like, so we're standing on the sideline, um, and uh, shout out to uh, Chris. Chris comes over. Uh, Chris is huge, man. Shout out to him. He 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 watches yeah. the show and uh, he he hooked me up. Like I got to be on the press conference table with where Kyle Shannon does his press conference. I got on the sidelines. I got to. I met so many people yet yesterday because of him. So shout out to him. He pulls me down the sideline. You pull me out further. We're chilling, just standing there watching everything. And he comes up and like, hey guys, Huss family would like to take a picture with you guys. And I'm like, he, they don't want to take a picture with me. Maybe they're talking about Grant. So I just let Grant. I let Grant go because I'm like, he didn't meet me too. And then Grant goes over. So I walk like, over and he's like, no, 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 no. Could we meet Ryan too? We're big fans of the four man front. I was like, what? This is crazy, man. Like, so like that was one of the most humbling parts of, of being down there yesterday. Like Huff's family knows who I am and wants to take a picture with us. Like that was like, like I should be asking you guys, can I take a picture with you guys? It, it, that's how I felt. It, it was just dope that the fact that they, uh, recognized me and, and want to take a picture with us. So that also proves like everyone says, you know, none of the players like Grant. I think what people need to understand, man, is that Grant's going to report his honest opinions. And if players are playing good, he's not really going to say anything bad about you. See, the North playing, seems to like me for now. Right. Cause he's playing Huff good. Seems right, to like right? me for now. Yeah. Right. When, when you play good, he says nice things. Um, when you play bad, he says things that you probably don't want to hear. And I understand, I get it, but he's, doing his job he's just being honest um so i mean huff family obviously I think that gives the praise more like, weight too because there's other people on the beat that are like they make it their mission to give praise to everyone no matter what and to give the most praise and i feel like it just kind of waters down the whole enterprise yeah 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 it, it that yesterday was so sick i mean i saw uh yeah dr york walk, rock right by me bono steve bono was right there uh, you got to meet e40 yesterday right i saw e40 I didn't meet him before yeah. the game. I wanted to meet him before the game, but I couldn't find him. And I saw him walking around after. And I was like, hey, Earl. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> he goes, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> it sounds like it. Did you, you should have told him we quote him all the all, all the time on the Best 49ers podcast, which is coming back, by the way. Uh, we took yes. a, like a week off. We took a little we hiatus. We wanted to get an R. Because we, 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 what we did was convert my old RSS feed into that. And I think some people like getting these shows on audio so what now we have two this stuff will be on the, the the cone zone rss feed and now we're starting a new rss feed just for the best 49ers podcast and it's going to be five days a week and we're going to um we're going to record it later on today after kyle shanahan's conference call so be on the lookout for our audio only podcast about a half yeah, an hour and you can only get it there and then also uh i should mention while, while we're just plugging things is that the best 49ers what are we doing no the four man front. That's on my mm. channel tomorrow. And I got a surprise for Grant. He doesn't even know about. It. I got a surprise for Jesse and Coach. I'm coming with I'm coming with it. You guys don't even know about it. So tune in tomorrow on my channel, 445. One reason that my favorite player ever on the Niners is Jimmy Ward is because mm -hmm. he doesn't he never got upset when I criticized him. Like I used to, like I, I made Jimmy Ward a punchline for years. You know how I used to do with first round picks? It was it was yeah. a little immature and I was young. But uh, if a first round pick wasn't producing, it wasn't enough to criticize him. Like you had to be a joke. And with Jimmy, it was like this guy almost makes more plays than anyone I've ever seen. He's so close to making plays. Like look at this tackle he almost made. Look at this pass breakup he almost had. And he would see me in the in the locker room and just smile and laugh, be like, <laughs> <laughs> "You don't yeah. get it, man." And then finally, yeah. like. I finally got like, oh, okay, so he's great in man-to-man -man coverage on tight ends, and he's an incredible tackler. And finally, he was like, so you got it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> like, yeah. I really respected someone who could be that self-confident uh, yeah. and not sensitive. Well, he was what, just amused the, the whole time. It, it's also like, and I think that's Jimmy Ward's personality. It's great. Some people are just like that. But what, one thing that's also smart, if you're a player, like if you're a player or you're a coach, like you don't know how to play the, you don't know how to play the game. Like if you don't like how somebody's covering you, be cool to them. And see yeah. see if that continues. Like if uh, I think, you know, name a player on the 49ers that if he came up and was like, Grant, you, you know, said this or that, something complimentary, it'd be a lot harder to be to be critical on them. Like, um, so I I, I think it would be a lot harder in any game, right? Like if, with Robert Sala, when he was the when he was the defensive coordinator, I fired yeah. him at least f f seven times in the first two years here because he was new and he was struggling, and then. 
I remember he came up to me like during training camp in 2018 and was like, Hey Grant, like I watch all your post practice streams that like, you do a good job. I, I don't miss any of them. I'm like, <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. You like what I do? And he, yeah. So like from that point on, I was like, man, well, then he gave me his number. It's like, Hey, look, you ever have any questions? You want to know what's going on? Hit me up. I'll get back to you. Like, how can I, how can I criticize so, you? man? Like, so that's yeah. the thing. Like imagine if Kyle yeah. did that. Imagine if yeah. Kyle came up to you, Grant, like, hey, so Grant, easy to do. It. Let me come on your show, man. Let, let's let's yeah. talk this out. I've seen what you be saying. Like, I'm you've been riding you me for for eight it. years, man. Let's listen. Yeah. You should have my number. Like, there's no yeah. reason we got to be enemies. It's always an easy way to to win over the media. But if you want to yeah. if you want to get into a war, it's a hard one to win because we get the last word. <laughs> That's true. And we actually use words for a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just smart. It's like, what's These the expression? You catch you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, right? Or bees, or always. I don't know what the is, but, Right? That's yeah. It's just, it's and just you don't want to just casually create enemies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Steve Young talked about it um, recently on that recent podcast or recent radio appearance he went on, um, where he was talking about it takes all three, right? It's the it's the the team, the player, that excuse me, the team, the media, and the fans. You gotta you gotta work all three. You gotta have all three on your side, and you gotta you know incorporate all of that. Steve Young was just talking about that. I think Kyle could learn from that also. 